Thank you very much. Uh, I, I do say that I have uh, go uh, back uh, a ways with Seamus. I think I first met Seamus in 1998 as we were walking the streets of West Roxbury collecting signatures uh, under the auspices of the Massachusetts Labor Party in order to uh, get single payer on the ballot in order to push forward the fight for a just health care system. Now, as the other uh, area in which I know Seamus best is that we are both together in the Massachusetts Nurses Association. We're registered nurses, and we've been fighting for health care justice one way or another, and workers' justice uh, one way or another for many, many, many years. I have to say that uh, Seamus played a strong leading role uh, in our own conventions here in Massachusetts, and as an elected delegate to our National Nurses United, a strong role in last December's convention uh, uh, out in Las Vegas. Um, healthcare, uh, I, I, there are many, many aspects of the crisis, many, many ways in which uh, the ruling class is pounding down or attempting to pound down the working class uh, and the folks in the communities. We need to be organized. We need to be organized where we work. We need to be organized where we live, and this united working class can lead the fight to change this, to turn this around. In terms of health care, like I said, there's a range of issues. Jobs, good jobs, $15 an hour, a, a, a union, this is uh, basic. Um, public safety, uh, in Boston, as in every other major city, the police forces have been militarized. And is that because of terrorism? It's because of us. We need to be aware of that. The only counter to that is organization. Organization gives strength. In terms of, um, you name it. Let me focus on healthcare. Uh, what are the major institutions in the city of Boston that aren't paying their weight? Uh, there's the, the churches don't pay taxes. The uh, universities don't pay taxes. And, the, and uh, most of the uh, healthcare institutions don't pay taxes. So when Seamus is on the Boston City Council fighting for an agenda that we're all going to be militantly supporting, um, questions are going to come up. Who's going to pay for it? We know who's going to pay for it. We need to demand that the fat cats, the 1%, and we've got more than our share in the city of Boston, pay their fair share. Partners. Partners Healthcare, for example, has $1 billion, that's a B, $1 billion in the bank. Yet, it is working and it already has uh, shut down Faulkner Hospital's um, uh, substance abuse unit and, and uh, uh, diluted the care to that vulnerable po population that we need. Um, the uh, uh, Beth, uh, BI Deaconess, not organized yet. Uh, is reaching out beyond Boston into the communities and sucking in hospitals. And again, some of which have unions and some of which don't. But there's a fight there. They don't pay their fair share. And of course, there's the for-profit chain at St. E's in Brighton and Kearney in Dorchester. Stewart, uh, which I can speak to since um, uh, even though I retired last year from uh, the bedside at Quincy Medical Center, the, um, uh, the committee wanted me to stay on. So if anybody asks, they call me a consultant, but having been in that particular fight uh, to save that particular hospital for that particular working class community, uh, uh, you know, of course I go way back. So all I can say is it's uh, steadfast fighting. When we get to the city council, we need to be able to be, have a clear agenda. With Seamus there, we will have a clear working class agenda. And as a socialist, he will see the connections, he will see the line of march, and will be able to lead us, uh, lead us forward. So I'm very pleased to be here to support uh, my brother, my colleague, Comrade Seamus. Thank you very much.